in the name of Jesus, Lord, bless your people. Lord, bless your people, Lord.
salvation by your mighty power in this year of exceeding abundantly. Let us pray. This will be the last prayer that Lord, everyone that has come, everyone that has been called into this work, including those that have been here, Maliga Dabo Walk and multiply Amen. the fruit in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. This segment of the service is wisdom for the day, and usually it is sent to us every morning to help us to enrich our faith in our various places. And it's become the doctrine and the tradition that in our services we all run through the one for the day together. And I pray that as we divide the word of truth, we all shall be imparted in the name of Jesus. Amen. The topic for today is being casual has consequences. Luke chapter 19, verse number 44. That is the anchor scripture for today, the book of Luke chapter 19, verse number 44. And I read from the altar here. It said, they will dash you to the ground, you and the children within your walls, 
they will not leave one stone on another because you did not recognize the time of God's coming to you. In the King James Version, they said, because thou knewest not the time of thy visitation. May we know the time of our visitation in the name of Jesus. Amen. I tell you, even in this service today, God is set to visit somebody. Amen. I encourage us to be sensitive. You're not here by accident. Yes, the Lord has ordained your step to be in his presence. Yes. And be ready for a visitation today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Our bishop brought this. I remember how the young people in those days would go around the streets. Can we have a perfect silence so we all can benefit from this? God bless you. He said, I remember how the young people in those days would go around the street throughout the night, putting up posters and flyers on the street in preparation for an annual program. They did so without asking for anything. They were just happy to serve. Some of those young people are pastors today. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. There's always a difference between people who serve God and those who don't. You cannot have such a zeal for service and God will not do something supernatural in your life. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it is not common to see that kind of enthusiasm today. The scripture says concerning Jesus, said, and when he was come near, he beheld the city and wept over it. He wept over it because the things that belonged to, to them were hidden from their eyes. So the Bible says in Luke 19, 44, 43 to 44. It said, For the day shall come upon thee that thy enemy shall cast a trench about thee and compass thee round, and keep thee in every side, and shall lay thee even with the ground and under children within thee, and they shall not leave in thee one stone upon another, because thou knewest not the time of visitation. Again I say, we will know our time of visitation in the name of Jesus. Amen. He said that enemies shall cast a trench about thee because you did not know that God has visited you. That made Jesus to weep over them. He wept over the same city that rejoiced and celebrated him. Jesus wept because they had forgotten their day of visitation. They were no more rejoicing. The enthusiasm with which they welcomed him was no more there. According to history, the city of Jerusalem was destroyed by General Titus in 70 AD. It was destroyed because they never knew their day of visitation. They took the things of God casually. May you not be casual with spiritual matters. Amen. May the fire that was ignited in you when you got saved never quench in the name of Jesus. Amen. The story might look like a mere Bible story, but if you remember during the tenure of Trump, he did something very remarkable, which was a rescue for this event that happened many years ago. It is my prayer that we will take everything that God is exposing us to do very seriously. Like I said to my children that when you're given a task that is difficult, it's going to stretch you, but it will leave you the way it met you. That's right. It will plant in you seed that the world will seek after. When we are asked to do the things of God with all humility, it could be the least of it all. There is always a reward. Amen. And I pray that we will never be casual about the things of our God in the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless his word in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's stand on our feet for intercession prayers. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want you to be in the mood of prayers. You know, this part of the prayer is intercession. Choir, please help me. God will make our way when there seems to be no way. He walks in ways we cannot see. He will make our way. Yes. 
yourself. Once you go, let me hear you sing. Go.
tradition. I want us to open our mouth and command every valley. Speak to the valley, no valley. You know that valley. You know the valley. Speak to that valley. Speak to that valley. Speak to that valley. Speak to that valley in the light of your life, in the light of every member of church. That valley to speak to says I shall feel. Lead by now at all, sir. He says that mountain I shall feel. You know your side, you know the mountain you are facing. I know the mountain I'm facing. I know the valleys I'm facing. Man, so back up, man, I'm an old son. And I feel every valley is before me. Every valley is before me, feel it. Every mountain is before me, bring me home. Hey, go, man, I'm an old son. Hey, man, I'm an old son.
life. Oh, we thank you for bringing us all here together to praise and worship your holy name, oh God. When we worship you, we give you all the praise. We give you all the adoration. We bless you, oh God.
before we dance again, there is part two of this dance. Hallelujah. Because today is Thanksgiving. It is Thanksgiving. The devil cannot shut our mouths. Hallelujah. The circumstances of life will not take our joy. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to take this opportunity to welcome our online viewers. Amen. Hallelujah. You are Amen. blessed as you are watching us. Amen. 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 I will expect pray that we will see you in service one of these days. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We also want to congratulate our young ones who got their results this week.
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My memory verse is taken from Psalms 26, verse 9 and 10. Don't treat me as a common sinner or murderer who plots against innocent and man's bribes. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My memory verse is taken from Matthew 5, verse 14. Ye are the light of the world. A city that set upon a hill shall not be, cannot be hid. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My number is taken from Psalms chapter 35, verse 20, um, through Psalm verse 25. Um, I have been young and now I'm old, yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken, nor the seed of begging bread. 26. He is ever merciful on his land, and his seed is blessed. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My memory is taken from Psalms 37, verse 23. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his ways. God bless you children. Amen. 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 Our older, yeah, our youths. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. I'm waiting. I'm not leaving here. Oh, yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. We are waiting. Uh -huh. Yeah. Amen. Okay. We are going into another dimension this yeah. morning. Hallelujah. Amen. Variety is the spice of life. Yes. Amen. Amen.
on YouTube yeah. and we will we'll be enjoying it when you are when you're on your bed when you are at home because when I'm, when I'm praying when I'm praying I like to have instrumentals at the background with that I can go as long as I want when that is true so you see me surfing the YouTube looking for Christian jazz I'm always looking for Christian jazz when I want to pray, you know? Just something at the background that won't interfere. The song, the thing. Youth, you are blessed. I, I found my answer now. <laughs> Hallelujah! Hallelujah. It's time for worship. Today is Thanksgiving. As the worship comes up, let us be open to this our God. No matter what it is, just find a reason to worship God this morning. Just look for a reason. If you can't find any reason, begin to reflect on how great this God is. The one who controls the whole universe. And nothing has gone out of course. The constellations, the galaxies, sometimes I just visualize it. The galaxies, they are spinning around with speech that, my God, and nothing is going out of course. They have been there from ages past and ages to come. As the Lord feels, they will be there. There are galaxies we have not found out. This Milky Way with the planets is just one. There are many thousands of galaxies out there. Even the scientists have confirmed that we have not yet found out. It's just this one and we are just in one Creatures and in other galaxies that are all praising and worshiping God. Mm. Hallelujah. We so we have God. every reason to worship this Thank you, Jesus. Let us not reduce God to the level of our problem. That would be, that would be the, another one kind of insult that would be. To reduce God to the state of your issues. No, 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 no. It's not nice. Hallelujah. So we call on the choir to give us worship. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. It's time to move the worship. Let's just want to thank God. If you turn off, you just want to thank God. Give you benefit. Children, can you stand up on your feet, please?
the book of worship. I, I want us to look at the book of Hebrews chapter 13, verse 15. Hebrews 13, 15. While we are still in the mood of worship, this song says, How can I describe a God that is indescribable? I was talking to one of my sons the other day. I said, I cannot explain this God to you. Nobody can teach you about God. God is too big for you to articulate God with your human capacity. Our mental capacity cannot describe God. You cannot accommodate it. God can only be revealed to you. Because God is spirit. So with your intellectual capacity, you cannot understand God. The Bible we read is not, it's not, it's not Bible knowledge. It's not BK. We do BK as a subject in school, but Bible is not BK. It's not biology, it's not physics. A natural man cannot explain the Bible. They cannot understand it. Because God is spirit. The love of God cannot be explained. It cannot be explained. It doesn't make sense. That's why we can only cry. He said, said, therefore, by him, not by your own power, by the strength of the spirit of God, you cannot worship God in your mental capacity. It takes the Spirit of God to help you to appreciate God. It takes the Holy Spirit to help you to appreciate God. He said, therefore, by Him, by the power of God, by the strength of the Spirit of God, He said, let us offer continually the sacrifice of praise that is the fruit of our lips the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. Hallelujah. In the olden days, when we come for sac- when we come for thanksgiving and sacrifice like this, we would have come with lambs. We would have come with rams. They would have been slaughtering it. You know how much it would have cost you to buy lamb. To buy lamb. According as God has blessed you. Some people would have been coming with cow. But the Bible said Jesus entered in and gave himself as a sacrifice for us. He did it once and for all is settled. Child of God, each time you come, I want you to recognize what God has done for you. And that's why we can come enter into the holy place. That's why we can enter into the holy place. Each time you lift up your voice and as you are giving praise to God, what you are doing is that it's like you are offering rams. You, you are killing rams. You are making sacrifices. Your voice, your praise is a sacrifice unto God. Every time you open your mouth and say, thank you, Jesus, it's as if you have just slaughtered one ram. Each time you say, thank you, Jesus, he said, let us do it continually. Let us do it continually. Never you stop doing it. Child of God, it may not make sense. But if you can do it, it may not make sense. But if you can do it, if you can do it, I want you to lift up your voice. Anyone here, everyone here, appreciate this God. Appreciate this God. Appreciate this God. Appreciate this God. Open your mouth, pray the Holy Ghost. Open your mouth in the Holy Ghost. Offer the sacrifice of your lips. Offer the sacrifice of your lips. Open your mouth.
know, even the people of the world, they have an understanding. When you are going through certain challenges, they will tell you, say, go and offer sacrifice. Say, go and offer sacrifice. And the bigger your problem, the bigger the sacrifice. Hallelujah. Because there's a power in sacrifice. There's a power in Is God to arise because God He has been the presence of His people. God will not send an angel to go, He will not send an angel when your sacrifice touches the heart of God. Sacrifice causes God to rise up, sacrifice causes God to rise up. And as you are worshiping God this morning, God is rising up for somebody here, God is rising up for you, God is rising up for you. 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 Divine intervention. Divine intervention. Divine intervention. Divine intervention. Divine intervention. It was a violent prayer. It was a violent prayer. Your enemy. 
there. Verse 26, he said, and suddenly, there was a great earthquake. Suddenly, there was a great earthquake. Suddenly, there was a great earthquake. That's why, child of God, never you stop your praises. Never you stop. Never you give up. Never you give up. Never you give up. The God has gone on suddenly. When he appears, the God of suddenly, you will appear suddenly, suddenly, suddenly. That doctor's report will cease to exist. Suddenly, break it up. Suddenly, that doctor's report will be the sound. It will cease to be. It will cease to be. It will cease to be. Suddenly, your medical report, medical history, we change. We change. We change. We change. Suddenly, your family issues will receive divine help in the name of Jesus. Suddenly, there will be transformation in your life. Suddenly, you will buy your house. Suddenly, you will get the promotion. Suddenly, Once the grace 
of God is upon your life. What God is like will suddenly happen in your life. People cannot explain it. God will give you a miracle that cannot be explained. In the name of Jesus. People cannot explain it. People cannot explain it. It will happen for you. 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 suddenly comes. When God suddenly comes, one thing I have seen in my walk with God is that just be consistent. Just be consistent. Just walk with Him. You see, you see, the progression in the spirit is not visible sometimes to the human mind. Sometimes it will look as if nothing is happening. But something is happening. Hallelujah. Something is happening. One day, the only difference is that after one year, after two years, after three years, try to look back to see where you were coming from. You will say that the Lord is lifting me. The gift of Jesus is a gift with the living. You cannot walk with Jesus and remain low. You cannot walk with him and remain low. You cannot. No, you cannot. He will lift you up. Hey, I just feel like let's do some, let's do some crazy prayers. Let's do some crazy prayers because God inhabits the prayers of His people. And any time we go out of our way and praise God in an unusual manner, unusual miracles begin to happen.
being glorified. Your praise is mocking the devil. Your praise is doing what? Your praise is doing what? Your praise is doing what? I can't hear you. Break it down. Your praise is mocking the devil. Never you be afraid to mock the devil. Because the devil is not afraid and ashamed to mock you. Oh yes. When God gives you opportunity to flood the devil, flood the devil very well. When he gives you opportunity to laugh at the devil, laugh at the devil very well. When he gives you opportunity to mock the devil, mock the devil very well. But because the devil is not your friend, he will never like you, he will never be your friend. Oh yes. So when you are dancing, your dancing is mocking the devil.
The earthquake happened so that the foundation, so that the foundation of the prison, the Bible said it was shaken. It was shaken. It was shaken. The earthquake is not going to destroy you. The storm is not going to destroy you. No, 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 no. The Bible said, the Lord said, He will shake the heavens so that the shakeable things will shake off. Things are shaking off. Things are shaking off. Things are shaking off. So that the things that remain are things of eternal value. Things are of eternal value. Shaking is happening right now. Shaking is happening right now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. He said, He said, He said, was shaking. And immediately, after the shaking, after the shaking, after the shaking, immediately, all the doors were open. Everybody shout, all the doors. Everybody shout, all the doors. All the doors. All the doors. He said, and everyone's bands was loose. Everyone's chains. Your chain is not my chain. My chain is not your chain. But when all the doors open, every chain, every chain, lose. Every chain, lose. This next dance, this next dance, this next victory is for all the doors. 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 When I say all the doors, you say open. All the doors. 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 Every child lose. Every child lose. Every child lose. Every child lose. Open your mouth and lose me. Let Papa
Jesus. Even in this power line. Because they are saying it. They keep saying it. I know one of the people that God has given me the grace to pastor. One thing I discover is that even when people say it is not possible, they be telling me, say, say, Daddy, we are going to buy land here, we are going to buy houses. We are going to buy this, we are going to buy this. We are going to get this, we are going to get this. We are going to get this, we are going to get this. You know, sometimes, let me tell you, it's not about nomenclature. Sometimes God can give you children who speak even more than you. Sometimes you want to be modest. Your child will say, oh, that we are better than this. No, why, why not let's get this? Why? It's not because you don't like that. But you are looking at the reality. You know how much is in the bank. My children don't. My children, all they know is that. Daddy, I want that thing. I just want it. See, I want that thing. My brother said, oh, that. Say, I told her, I said, how much is your budget for phone? He said, at least for 400. I said, ah. I said, even me myself. But do you know one thing I've discovered? We go out to buy things. When we go to JD to buy things, they will point me the shoe they want. And they told they want. The first day, I almost quarreled with Peter in the in JD. My wife was dragging me. He said, people are looking at you. I said, yes, let them look at me. The wife can hear me telling me what to buy a shoe, school shoe, for 160 euros. And he wants two. He wants two. And I went and bought my own. 15 euros. Hallelujah. I went and bought my own. Hallelujah. 15 euros, my own. They are enjoying their own. So that when they are playing, I say, be careful the way you are playing with that. I'm looking at the price. Hallelujah. But do you know the same way God looks at us? Sometimes God wants us to elevate our faith and say, Father, I don't want social housing. Do you know I know my daughter will say she's not interested in that social housing? Every time I talk to her, she's not interested. But do you know as we speak now, God miraculously, miraculously, the landlord came to say, I think we should buy this house. Buy this house, buy it. And it's not even talking about bank, mortgage, all those things. The way it's looking is coming more as a gift. As a gift. We serve the God who does all this. Our church is like gold. We bought it for gold. But if we tell you we bought that place for 60,000 euros. Love 
of it. You shall eat the fruit. You shall eat the fruit. You will eat the fruit. You will eat the fruit of every good word you are speaking. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'll just let's sit down briefly. I'm going to show us two things in the scripture. In the book of Matthew, we'll continue. I want to encourage us, please. Sundays are celebration services. Our Bible studies are on Tuesday. We will take time to look into the Word of God. The Word of God is our life. All your inheritances are documented in it. We are not meant to go without, to live without. And you will not go without. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Put the word of God in your mouth. Put the word of God in your mouth. Let the word of God. That was what Joshua, God said to, to Joshua. He said, this book of the law shall not. Don't let it depart from your, from your mouth. From your mouth. Don't let it depart from your mouth. He said, meditate upon it day and night so that you will be able to know. Hallelujah. So it should not depart from your mouth. That means you should speak. Keep speaking what God has ordained you to speak. Speak in, in line with the word of God concerning your life. Don't speak your reality. Most times we speak our reality because we glorify our humanity. But we are not taking cognizance of our spirituality. But I've come to discover yes, that every time you release your faith, you release your faith, and you speak in line with the word of God concerning your life, immediately heaven has released grace, and that grace is looking for the faith. The grace is looking for the faith. And immediately, boom, both of them come together. Suddenly has happened. It becomes suddenly. Because it responds to your faith. In the book of Mark chapter 21, there was an encounter. Mark 21, if we take from 18. Actually, Matthew. Fade away. Fade away.
presently the victory without in the way. Now let's look at that place again. Matthew 21 from 18. 19 he said, he said, and when he saw a victory, Jesus was hungry. He had an expectation. And he has a creature that has been empowered to produce. He has invested on it. God deserves fruit. Hallelujah. He deserves fruit. But the Bible said he went to eat with an expectation. Because at that season, it was a fruiting season. It was a season that that fruit, that tree should be bearing fruit. It's like during the, the harvest period for maize. You expect to get maize. You cannot be going in, a, in August or July or June. I think that's the period of maize. I've lost touch with uh, the farming cycle. But you see, at that period of time, you expect to see maize. But when you do not see it, something is wrong. The Bible said, and he came to eat. And found nothing here wrong, but leaves. Now you discover that Jesus said to the tree, I want something. But the thing is preparing, he said, I don't have anything. I have only leaves. He's giving excuses. He's giving excuses. He's giving explanations. Because it was that tree was talking to Jesus. He was saying something. He was saying something to Jesus. But Jesus was not going to take those excuses. He was not ready to take those excuses. The Bible said that every scripture is given by the inspiration of God and they are profited for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness that a man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. So there are times situations begin to speak to you. You have an expectation. And they begin to speak to you to say, no, you can't have it. I won't give it to you. Jesus did not compromise his time. Jesus Learn to speak back. And that's why I say we must learn to put the word of God in our mouths. In our mouths. There are some situations that have persisted. Not because there is no power available. It's just because you have not spoken. You have not spoken the word of God. As from today, you learn from this scripture what Jesus did. The Bible said Jesus spoke. He spoke to that tree. He's telling us that even creations, they have ears. The world, the walls, they have ears. The earth you are working upon, they have ears. The firmaments, they have ears. That is the power that has been given to you as a child of God. The Bible said, They that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Yes. That means the fruit you are seeing today, the fruit you are eating, is based on what you love. What do you love? Do you love to struggle, to toil, or do you love to enjoy the grace of God? What are you speaking? What are you speaking? Jesus spoke back and, 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 and said, He said, Let no fruit grow on thee henceforth forever. And the Bible said, Immediately from thence forward, the tree withered away. Now, if we look at this account from another 
translation. There's another translation where he had this conversation. I think it's in Mark 11. It's in Mark 11. Now, if you look at that account from Mark 11, there's something I want us to get from here. From verse 20. And, and he said, and the, in the morning, as they passed by, they saw the fig tree dried up from the root. And Peter calling to remember said unto him, Master, behold the fig tree which thou caused is withered away. And Jesus answering said unto them, have faith in God. Hallelujah. Amen. Now this account said, in the following day, they saw it. But the other one said, immediately. Now, does it mean that the scripture is contradictory? No. The truth was that that time that Jesus said that word, it happened. It happened. But physically, it has not manifested. But the process has begun. The process has begun. For the fact that you cannot see it with your physical eyes does not mean it has not happened. Child of God, hold on to your faith. It has happened. It has started. Hallelujah. Jesus said, that healing has happened. It has happened. Though some people they begin to look at evidence. They begin to look at evidence. As you take your eyes away from the evidence. That's why you do not be equally yoked with unbelievers. When you are speaking your word of faith, some people will look at you as foolish. In fact, some will, some will, some will mock you. So we mock you. But Bible says don't be equally, don't be on the same level with them. Don't be on the same level with them. Don't allow your faith to go down. Amen. You can even go to, 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 you know, sometimes you can go to counseling, even from a servant of God. And you share your problem. You know, there's a way you share your problem. Your problem will be overwhelmed. That's why we need to be careful when you are sharing your problem. Share your problem from the standpoint of faith. Don't share your problem from the standpoint of weakness. God has not given us the spirit of fear. There's a way you will share your problem. Even the person who wants to pray for you will become depressed. Because you have transferred depression instead of faith. There's a way you share your problem. Somebody say, Ooh, let's, let's hold on together. Let's call upon God. Let this thing. There's a way you share your problem to somebody. Even the small faith in that person, you just die, feel like, Then the person will say, your, your own, no. Say this, your own problem is too much. We need to be careful. Don't magnify the devil. Don't magnify the devil. Let us learn to magnify God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Put your throat. Jesus said to them, He said, put your, your voice, put your mouth on top of the mountain. He said, have faith in God. Have faith in God. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. We are a people of faith. Child of God, faith is not wishful thinking. 
You are having faith because God has said it in His Word. We read it this morning during intercessory prayer. You are holding on to the Word of God. These are promises that He has made to you. And because you are, you trusted God, you are convinced. You believe your conviction. You believe your conviction that God said it. I believe it. And that settles it. I don't care what is happening around me. All I know is that God has said it. And it will come through for me. That was why when Job was in trouble, the wife has left him. Even his friends came and mocked him. At the point in time, what he all did, what he said, he, had the point, he began to ask the question. He said, he said, if a man die, can he live again? If a man die, can he live again? He said, all the days of my life, he said, I will wait until my change comes. There is an expected time you need to wait. Hold on to God. And your change will come. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Jesus, so he, so he gave them the principle. He said, he said, he said, he said, have faith in God. He said, verily I say unto you, whosoever shall say to this human thing, be thou removed and be cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he said shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever. He said, you will have it in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will have faith in God. Amen. And how does faith come? Faith comes by hearing. And hearing the word of God. Amen. That is how faith comes. You will let, let to hear the word of God. Listen to the word of God. Deaconess was talking about playing music instruments. Sometimes we use it to sleep. Hallelujah. We use it to sleep. Today is our Thanksgiving service. Hallelujah. There's an aspect. The testimony aspect. Hallelujah. Let's rise up on our feet. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Shadows of my spirit open up. I am with the Father. Open up. No boundaries, no limits. Open up. Let a deep dust to the deep.
one in the book of Kings, the prophecy came and said, by this time tomorrow. And it's like, he looked at all the parameters. They were not adding up. The reality on ground was not adding up. He said, even, even if God opens the windows of heaven, this will not be possible. And it happened. And he did not partake because of what he had said. Let God help us. When the words come out like this, even if we can't see it sometimes, let's just confess it anyhow. Let's take it in anyhow. Knowing that God, like Ezekiel, when Ezekiel asks God, can this go sleep? He said, God, thou knowest. Is you who created them? Is you who know what you can do with it? Thou, instead of you to confess something else, take it back to God. Father, you, you know. You know what you want to do with me. You know what you want to do. Do it. Hallelujah. I was saying that for us to be ready, get, a, get our offerings ready. Hallelujah. Are we ready? Our Thanksgiving offering. Hallelujah. Shall we lift up our offerings? Hallelujah. Amen. Father, we thank you. Thank you Lord. Lord, we give you praise. We give you honor. Father, we have come to say thank you this morning. We have come with thanksgiving. First of all, with our hearts. And now, Lord, we are giving tokens of what you have blessed us with. To say thank you. Lord, to say we appreciate you. We appreciate all that you are doing for us. All that you are going to do for us. All that you have done for us. Lord, we give you back the praise. If our bodies were all mouths, Lord, it is not enough. What we have brought is nothing compared with what you have done. But Lord, we just bring it in appreciation as a token Amen. to just say thank you. Thank you, thank you Lord. Thank you. When we begin to count, is it our salvation? Is it life? Is it good health? Is it sound mind? Is it roof over our head? Is it clothes on our back? Is it the children? Is it family? Father, too many. Is it the soundness of our minds? Father, so many things that we will begin to count. But Lord, we say again, thank you. Thank you Lord. Lord, receive our praise. Amen. Receive our heartfelt thanksgiving Amen. this morning. Lord, we give you the praise. Hallelujah. We give you honor. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Shall we rejoice as we give our offerings? Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Who has the final say?
over, young people. God bless you. 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 Amen. Amen. What an awesome time we've had in God's presence. Hallelujah. Now to our online audience, we say we love you. God bless you. Every grace you have received, you will retain. You will not lose your miracles. You will not lose your blessings. The same grace that is in the house right now, impact upon you. In the name of Jesus. And if you have any testimony, we encourage you. Please send us text or send us mail. Amen. Because we know that God is doing mighty things. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We encourage you to subscribe to our channel. Amen. Share it with friends. Amen. Because the word of God has no limits. Amen. It can go anywhere. Amen. 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 And to you who are here, let's just uh, uh, share the grace in fellowship before we go into another aspect of the service. And let's lift up our hands together to God as we share the grace in fellowship. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us now for Amen. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the hearts of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 This segment is for our thanks.